attention. Yes, get this bloody boat out of my way. The line was strong down, sir, but it's not strong enough to lift that. Now, why don't we try waiting a few minutes? Otherwise, we could find ourselves waiting 30 days, couldn't we? All right, all right! Don't worry, I've got everything under control. That's very sweet of you. I'm a sweet person. How long will it be staying? As long as it takes to get out of here. Could take a week. Shut up! Shut up! Uh, I think you've got more trouble that end. Oh, God. I told you to hold your end up! Will you get that lot out of there? You need flipping Clinties one up here. Ha! Ha! Head them up, move them out. Stop them doggies moving. They ain't doggies, them cows. I know that, you stupid farmer. Why didn't you take them up the motorway? It's wider. Ah, but little bottom market's up there. Just get them out of here. Ha! Ha! How do you turn them? I don't turn them. Dog turns them. Oh, where's the flipping dog? Didn't bring the dog. No turns. Tis straight road to market. Listen, don't get me annoyed, boy, because if you get me annoyed, that lot will be going beef in no time. I'll tell you something. I'm going to kill these bigging cows in a minute. Come on, come on. What's the problem? Turn them round. We need a dog. You lot. Fantastic, Tom. It's absolutely fantastic. And you, get that loader moving. Right, Tom. That was fantastic. Come on, come on. Give us. Come on. Come, come, come. Come on. Right, right. Come on. Get that boat out of here. Just move it. Oh, hello. How are you? Can I move it now? You can move anything you want, lady. I still don't think I can get it out of here. I'll do it for you. Come on, move over. Move over. On second thoughts, I think you better do it. On third thoughts, I think I'd better do it. Constable Paul, will you stop chatting that bird up and move it? All right. All right, all right. That was steering. We. Oui. Very useful. There you are, darling. Thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Bye. I'll bet you've got lovely eyes. I wouldn't mind climbing up her rigging, Tommy. Eh? Very nice. Very nice, that is. Good God! Something wrong, sir? What the hell's happened to my car? Uh, well, it would appear as though something has hit it, sir. It would appear as if something's hit it. That's an amazing deduction, Sergeant. Yes, I would say that. Something's hit it. Well, um, it was causing an obstruction, sir. That car... That car was parked legitimately by the curbside. Ah, but it was obstructing the passage of the boat. Boat. Yes, we get lots of boats down here in the summer. In fact, this place is sometimes like the English Channel. Just a minute, just a minute. Are you aware you've just assaulted a police officer? You saw him, Tom. He hit a policeman. Bobby, cool it. Smashed headlamp. Front wing dented. You're insured, aren't you? Because if not, that's another offence. How are all the police around here, idiots? There's only us two. That explains it. Hey! Don't get me annoyed, because if you get me annoyed... Tommy, Tommy please, cool it. This calls for a little tact. You're right, Tommy, tact. Listen, don't think you city slickers can come down here and overtake the place because you can't. Now, I want to see your driving licence, your name and your address. Uh, I was wondering when you're going to get round to that. The name is Cronshaw, the address, Dorminster Police Headquarters, and the Chief Constable. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like your names and the name of your station. Uh, Ball, sir, Little Bottom. I don't want a description, just the name. Little Bottom, sir, but it's spelt Bottom. And it's pronounced Bottom. I just told him that, I know. Thank that. you, thank you. If you don't mind, I'd like to get about my business. Of course, sir. Yes, sir. And we won't mention the obstruction, sir. No, sir. You won't hear another word about it, sir. Nothing about it. No, but you might. Morning, Morning, Jim. The art squad has put out an alert about that painting job. Do they think the stuff's down here? Well, so far they haven't a clue. It's telex to all areas, check newcomers, estate agents, all the usual. Have all our stations had it? Yes, sir. Well, that is all except one, but uh, I put it on their answering machine. Their what? Well, it's a small station, staff of two. Little Bottom, spelt B-O-T-H-A-N. That's right. They were probably out on a job. 
They were. Oh? Are they usually efficient? Well, we've never had cause to call them, and they certainly haven't called us. It's a pretty quiet area. At one time, we were thinking of merging them with the subdivision. Well, stop thinking. Do it. I'll set the wheels in motion. This morning, sir, what job were they on? Me, on the bloody boat. The tackle has been delivered. Tomorrow night. Time to be fixed later. It's the law. Coming this way. Close the door. Keep packing. If they come over here, I can handle them. You sure? Certain. Morning, Seth. Morning, Tommy. Morning, Bob. Morning, Seth. Sorry we're a bit late. We've had a bit of trouble on the high street. Right. Right. No vinegar because Charlie's had it at the fish shop, but everything else is there, including your herrings. Fair enough. See you Wednesday. Right. I can never understand a fisherman buying herrings. How many more of these have you to deliver? Just the cozy new tea rooms. Six robbery jams, three cans of marge, four tea bags, and a rubber spout. Teapot's broken, see? I couldn't care less, but I object to you using my police car as a delivery van. It's good for it, and it's not as though we ever use it for police work. I do? You little liar. You only use it when you're taking a bird out. So, I'm on the job, aren't I? I never thought of that. Hello, Kim. Hello, darling. I've been waiting nearly an hour. I thought I'd had it. It wasn't with me, Tom. I was the best cook in Little Bottom. In trouble. Tom, I said it wasn't with me. Mr. Lloyd suddenly decided to swing a big party. Fifteen for dinner, and you know how he likes his tarts for afters. So wonder he hasn't chased you round the kitchen. Ah, uh, he's harmless. Like Bobby. Bobby harmless? It's a proper Jack Russell when he's roused. Anyway, what can we get for you? Oh, a couple of packets of desiccated coconut and a tin of syrup. All right. Run along then, Bobby lad, while the lady and I have a tape to tape. The lady's entitled to pick a own tape. This way, darling. The time he's been here and he still doesn't know how to open this door. Hello, I've actually got a message. See to that, Tom, while I attend to the ladies' coconuts. This way, Kim. By the way, it's been night off tonight if you fancy going to the pictures. Uh, sorry, Bobby. I'm going to be really busy. Nice little ride in the police car, listen to the police messages. Nice little bit of intercom. Before you know it, yeah? Yeah. Sounds fascinating. Now, if you'd have said tomorrow. Tomorrow. But you're not off tomorrow. I'll cancel all crimes tomorrow. Six o'clock back of the bus shelter. Seven o'clock in front of the bus shelter. We'll see. Now, where's my syrup? Uh, top shelf. You'll have to climb up. Why don't you climb up? There's a very good reason for that. <laughs> it happens every time. I believe it. Hey, something interesting has come up. Why is it every time a bird comes in here, whatever she wants is always on the top shelf? How do you manage it? I've got second sight. Right, well, I got the syrup. Now, where's the coconut? It's on the top shelf. You're not getting me up there again? There's some down there, darling. 
Oh, yes. Sorry, Tommy. Anything interesting? Oh, yes, these. Yes, it's a message from subdivision about these art robberies. Hey, they want us to check up on any local newcomers. You mean proper police work, like seduction? Deduction. Rock on, Tommy. Me and you, the Sweeney. <laughs> Do we have any local newcomers? Oh, we'll have to talk to the estate agent. But he's been here for years. Bobby, remember the great train robbers? Yeah. What did they do? Twenty year. No, they rented a farmhouse. Yes, so if there's any newcomers renting a farmhouse around here, we'll have them. Yeah. You know, Mr Lloyd's very worried about these art thefts. Is he? He's got a few old masters up at the mm. lodge. And a few old mistresses. I don't know he pulls them. Now, Bobby, that's not fair. It is. He's a very kind and generous person. Anyway, he's nothing to worry about with those around. I'll tell him. And don't you be late. I'm not hanging around in the dark waiting for UFOs. What UFOs? The flying saucer. It's been seen again. What a load of rubbish. Kelly the Butcher's seen it from outer space. All flashing lights and weird noises. Kelly the Butcher's always stoned out of his mind. He saw it last month too, didn't he? Yeah. Hey, we had the press down, the TV, and nothing except a drunken butcher. There's no UFOs. I don't see why not, Tommy. There's been a headless horseman round here. Headless horseman? Yeah. He's right. It's an old local legend. When the headless horseman rode, everyone stayed indoors. There's a famous poem about it. Yeah. When the tide runs low in the smuggler's call. And the headless horseman is seen above as he rides along. All right, Shakespeare. Hey, he could have come back in a saucer. And what would an extraterrestrial be in wanting Little Bottom? Well, if you're actually blessed, Paul. No, if you're actually blessed, Paul. No, listen, if he's come a long way from space, he could get lost, couldn't he? Poppycock. Listen, cop. I wish I hadn't started all this. OK. I think I'd better be going. Bye. See you tomorrow. What was all that about? Oh, we've got this set uh, little thing going. In your case, it would have to be. And you be careful what you're doing there. I will, Tom. I don't want you causing any trouble up at the lodge with Mr. Lord, right? No scandal. Just keep your nose out of it. I'm not kinky, Tom. Come on, let's start some proper detective. Hey, Tommy! You won't find them great train robbers, because they've already been caught. Who said anything about finding the great train robbers? You did! You specifically said we'll find a farmhouse and nab them. Art thieves, you great idiot. I'm not a great idiot. Of course, you're a great idiot. Headless horseman, flying saucers, you're a great idiot. I am not a great idiot. I'm a normal, sane person. Walking around with an orange crate on your foot. I'm a little bit of an idiot. Let's go. Get my hat. Find me. Get my hat. Get your own hat. Get my hat. All right, I'm getting an idiot now. And remember, I do all the investigating. You do all the legwork. Rock on, Tommy. That'll do for me, Cocker. Come on. I'm coming, on. Get out of here. He moved in two months ago. Took a six-month lease. That's correct. Just said the facts, sir. Did he say what he did? Profession? He told me he'd come out here to have a rest. We have to ask these questions, sir. John Hilling, Beach Farm, Sandy Lane. Is that correct? That's correct. Is that correct? That's correct. What's correct? Are you writing this down? You told me to do the legwork. Right. That's correct. And by the way, Mr. Blake, I would be grateful if you keep this visit as something between you and us. Of course. Thank you. By the way, may I say this to you? If there's something between me and you, I could make you very grateful. You've got lovely eyes. Talking to me. Right, Sergeant. Remember, keep your eyes and your ears open and your mouth shut. Got it? Mm, mm, mm. Range Rover, useful for carting paintings around. Mm, mm, mm. With a quick shifty, don't you think? Mm, mm. You can talk to me. Right, Sarge. Take a look in. Is Mr. Hilling in? He's too busy to see anyone at the moment. Just a minute, Tom. Just a minute. See that, Tom? It's the Paul Newman eyes. Works every time. I'm Hilling. What's the problem? None, I hope so. Just making a few routine checks. About what? 
Stolen painties. Mm. Oh, it, it, just with all these robberies about, sir, we'd like to make sure everything's all right. I haven't got any paintings. Oh, that's fine. Then I'm sure you won't object to us taking a look around, say, looking in your outhouse for I anything. have every objection. Oh. I'll come down here for some peace and quiet. And if I want the police, I'll call them. Now, perhaps I can get back to my work. Not what I would call a successful investigation. You know, I think we might be onto something here. Yes, it's not bad if she took her glasses off. I'm talking about Hilling. Oh, sorry, Tom. I wonder why he wouldn't let us look round his outhouse. Well, it could be in a bit of a mess because my mother doesn't like anybody coming when she hasn't there done There must be something there he doesn't want us to see. Like paintings. We're going to come back tonight and find out. We won't like that. He won't know, will he? A little unofficial visit in the dark. Tommy, if he catches, he might call the police. We are the police. I must remember that. Bobby, I'm down here in the cellar. What are you doing down there? I'm getting ready for action. Well, get yourself up here. What's all that? SOS, the full gear. Sometimes I'm amazed how your mind works. Me? Mostly. I'm amazed how it works at all. Now, come on.
blast you out. Now face the wall. Call the police. We are the police. Look, show them yours, Bobby. We met this morning. What the hell were you doing in here? Ah, well, we've had a report about a mad chicken on the loose, sir. Been a lot of chicken attacks lately. It's been becking the hell out of people. So, we, uh, we're chicken chickens. Chicken chickens. That's it, yeah. Do you have a warrant to search my property? No, sir. Aren't you supposed to have a warrant? Normally, sir, but for chicken chickens, we, What uh, station are you with? Little Bottom. Yeah, we are. Well, I'm reporting this to your superiors. Right. Now, I'd like you to get off my property. Yes, sir. You've got lovely eyes. Last night. What in Little Bottom? From your head office. What? Dorminster County Police. They probably made you a superintendent. Bobby, just a minute. This can't wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Oh, okay. Will you get yourself in here? I'm here, I'm here. A little communication from the Chief Constable. I don't want to get involved. You are involved. Listen. The Chief Constable considers a lack of incidents in your area over the past years would suggest that Little Bottom Station is now superfluous. Superfluous? An internal investigation is in progress to determine the advisability of closing the station and merging the staff with a subdivision. They can't do that. Of course they can. I'm too young to be merged. I'm in the flower of my manhood. I'm just coming to my peak. Shut up, will you? Just let me think. He's thinking, he's thinking. You can't let him merge us. Tommy, you're right. How do I run a store if we're merged? You're not supposed to be running a store. But you're part owner. Well, that's beside the point. I mean, this is serious, isn't it? This is serious. Serious, serious. Hey, Tommy. Why are we super fruitless? Because there's no crime down here. So we never make any arrests. Yeah. So we're not necessary. No. Why don't we arrest someone? Let's arrest Hilling. What for? You need evidence of crime for that. Yeah. Hey, you need evidence proof for that. Don't... Get rid of that, will you? That's what it's... Hey, you can't just nick somebody because they've rented a farmhouse. And besides, we know nothing about him. Tom! What? Listen to this. I've had an idea. No, you haven't. It's just a little idea. I don't like your ideas, so forget it. Understand? All right, I forgot how we can find out about Hilling. How can we find out about Hilling? You told me to forget it. Well, remember it. I've remembered it. We call HQ. Mm. They put Hilling's name through the computer. And with all the lights flashing and all the microfish and chips going, rickety-woo, 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 out it comes, everything you want to know about Hilling. Forget it. Forgot it, Tom. It's gone. Gone forever. And besides, if he's a villain, HQ will nick him. And we still won't have made an arrest. Tom, no. No, this isn't an idea. This is just a thought. Oh, well, I'll allow a thought. Why don't we ask Mr Lloyd? Ask Mr Lloyd what? About Hilling. He knows everybody around here invites them all to his parties. That's a brilliant idea. Is it? I thought it was just a thought. Get my jacket. No. All right, Sarge, I'll get it. Hey, somebody's called. What? There's a light on the machine. Bobby, this is Kelly from the pub. I want two pounds each way, golden lass, in the two o'clock at Kempton, three to win, flying Dutchman in the 4.30. Are you running a book from here? Yeah. Well, that's illegal. I know, but you can't arrest me, can you? Do you know? I often wonder how you managed to get through police college. Gee, Tommy, that's funny. They said the same thing. Come on. Let's get the car out. OK, it's me first.
Hello, hello, hello. It's the boys in blue. Morning, Mr. Morning. Lloyd. You're just in time for breakfast. Help yourself. Bacon, eggs, mushrooms, kidneys, nice bit of black pudding. That's very kind no, of you. No, thanks. We're a bit pressed for time. No, we're pressed for time. How about a little box fizz, eh? I prefer that a month myself. Oh, really? I've never tasted that. <laughs> now, this is just your champagne. And your orange juice. Mm -hmm. The elite, they always have it for breakfast. Oh, mm. yes. <laughs> God knows why. Mm. Still, I'm supposed to be the elite, so I'll... Uh, uh, wait, wait for the orange juice. Mm. That's the bucks part of it. <laughs> or is it the fizz? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I've just been playing with my new toy. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers good old It's a telly toy. Oh, mm. yes. It's got all the latest gadgets on it. It does everything, except give you a decent programme. <laughs> It's very nice. Yes, it's real mahogany veneer, you know, and portable. Portable? Oh, yes. Take it anywhere in the house. How do you get it upstairs? Ah. That's easy. <coughs> really easy. Uh, Charlie, take this upstairs, will you? Yes, sir. Now then, what can I do for you? Well, I was just wondering whether you could help us out. Always happy to help the law. It's about this uh, bloke, Hilling. Hilly? Oh, isn't he the geezer that's taken over at Beach Farm? <laughs> What's he been up to? Well, nothing as far as we know. Cheers. <coughs> Are you all right? I'm smashing it. Could I have another one? <laughs> By all means. <laughs> Thank you very much. And this time, try sipping it, will you? Act with a bit of class. I am sipping it. I've got a big sip. So, uh, what about Hilly? Well, I just wondered whether you'd met him. As a matter of fact, I haven't. I've invited him for drinks a couple of times, but he's busy trying to finish a book or something. Oh, he's an author. Yes. I'm rather interested in authors myself, actually. Read a lot nowadays since I made my pile. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. class stuff, of course. Yeah. Like your Harold Robbins and that. Mm. So you don't know anything about him? No, no. He wants to be left alone, according to that bird he calls his secretary. <laughs> That's the other one like that, eh? Mm. I mean, if I had a secretary, I'd have someone with something that bounces up and down while she's typing. Right, I'll drink to that, I'll drink that. <laughs> It's better than Adam, aren't What's all this interest in Hilly? Don't tell me he's a villain. <laughs> Nothing specific. We've been asked to check on any new arrivals in the district. Oh, not the petrific. Just in case they've been pitching all these pages. Well, don't shout it about. I didn't. I said it very quietly. I said, in case they've been pitching these pages. Yes, Kim told me about that. Very worrying. I've got some nice bits of artwork here, you know. I mean, look at that. That's a Picasso. Real. Genuine. And this one? That's a Toulouse, what's it, you know, the little fella. And this one? This one, that's uh, another French bloke. I don't understand why they're so marvellous. I just bought them as investments myself. But, you see, personally, I think art is a personal thing. You see, to everybody's personal taste. Definitely. Now, I like that one the best. Why is that? It costs a bloody fortune. Oh, by the way, next Wednesday, I'm having one of those garden party do's. I take it you boys will do the parking again? Oh, of course, sir. If we're still here. Mr. Lloyd, don't wish to know about that. What, going on holiday, are you? No, there's a chance that we might be transferred. What? You don't mean they're bringing new coppers in? No, they're going to close the station down. Well, they can't do that. It's you boys that keeps this place legal. We've got a village without crime. But mm, well, that appears to be the problem. Yeah, well, don't you worry about it. I'll get the residents together, petition the chief constable, pull a few strings. <laughs> In the meantime... <coughs> see you next Wednesday, right? We'll be back. Ah, oh, Charlie, the boys are leaving. Thank you for your hospitality. And uh, bring the portable TV down. You all like to drive? Certainly. Bye. Ship's provisions are all in order. High tide is midnight, so we'll have the first one in position long before that. Hmm. First move, sunset.
going to be very sad leaving the old place. Been like home. Mind you, it should have been like a police station. That's it. Why didn't I think of that? Because somebody's thought of it. You just put the tea bag in the cup, put the hot water Listen, in. the paintings. Listen to this. Acting on an underworld tip-off, the police and Interpol are making spot checks on all ports and airports. They believe that the paintings are being smuggled out of the country in personal luggage. We don't get underworld tip-offs. We're not on their mailing list. Never mind that. Hey, suppose we found a stolen painting. I mean, that'd be it, wouldn't it? Tommy, take a Valium. We can't find a stolen painting. Yes, we can. If you stole one and planted it somewhere and I found it, take two Valium and a Mogadon. Watch my mouth very carefully. You take the painting, put it in one of your store boxes, take it onto the beach, plant it down at Smuggler's Cove, I go down there with an independent witness and find it, they'll have to keep us on to follow up the investigation. Rock on, Tommy, that's fantastic! Wait a minute. I'm not pinching anything. All right, if you want to throw away our future. Tommy, watch my mouth very carefully. I've got it. Got what? I'm going to lend you the Monarch of the Glen. The Monarch of the Glen's no good. You have to have a real, genuine painting, like a turner or a constable. Oh, I can see the headlines now, Tommy. Constable finds constable. You're mental. We don't have a valuable painting. I know, but Mr Lord has, hasn't he? I'm not pinching one of this. Well, you don't have to pinch it, but just borrow it. Oh, you like that, won't it? Good evening. I wonder if I could borrow a small canaletto for the night. Forget it. Yeah, that's your trouble, isn't it? You always go for the obvious. It always works with the birds. I know, but sometimes you've got to have what they call lateral thinking. You've got to think sideways. Is that another one of your dates? No, Tom. Perhaps it's the constable that's got lost. Perhaps it's an underworld tip-off. Oh, good evening, officers. Uh, I'm from the Coast Guards. Come in. Pardon? Come in. Oh, thanks very much indeed. Good evening, sir. Evening. Do you fancy a cup of tea? Oh, I don't like to deprive you of your well-earned sustenance. It's not mine. It's his. Oh, well, in that case, thanks very much indeed. Very kind of you, I'm sure. Such heartwarming social sentiments are very hard to find in these grasping, avaricious days. Mm -hmm. What's the problem, then? Have we got a wreck? Oh, no, sir, no. Not unless you count the wife, that is. <laughs> <coughs> no, sir, the problem isn't mine, it's Alf's. Alf who? Well, I'll go too far for you, sir. Mm. Uh, Alf's my cousin, he's the lighthouse keeper. He's just gone out on his month's tour of duty. Mm. Month on, month off, they does it. But the unsociable existence it mm. is, too, you know, stuck up there on that rock. With no one to talk to except the pet goldfish. You can only talk to that when it swims round the front of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Very sad. Yes, yes, poor old Alf. It's his grandmother, you know. The goldfish is his grandmother. Goldfish is grandmother. <laughs> no, sir, no, no, it's Alf's granny's the problem. Oh, he's got a delinquent granny. Oh, no, no, far from it, sir, no. Alf's granny's a dear, sweet old soul. No trouble is, she's... She's going. On holiday? Round the bend? No, no, sir. Going. Shuffling off this mortal coil. The big sleep. That is very sad. Sad is catastrophic. Alf dotes on that old lady, you know, sir. He never knew his father. Neither did his mother, for that matter. But, uh, you see, his mother died when he was born. And so she brung him up from a babe. Fed him on her own milk, she did. Extra part from the milkman every day. Oh, I don't know how she managed it. A miracle it was. And that's why Alf always appreciated that. Always appreciated what that old lady done for him, you see. Wonderful woman. Yeah, wonderful woman. The only trouble is that Alf stuck up there on that there rock well, he doesn't know whether, whether she'll be there when he gets back. Well, listen, it's very touching, but we're the police. I think you want the national health. No, no, no. No, Alf's granny needs you. On account of the lamp, you see. No. Yeah, well, I go too fast for you. Mm -hmm. Light the lamp, Alf says. Light the lamp. And while the lamp still burns, I'll know that my old granny's still with us. Good idea, yes. Yes, but you see, the only place that Alf can see that lamp yeah. is on the top of the flagpole in this here police station. Ah, oh, so you want to put the lamp on the top of our pole? Well, it would bring a few last crumbs of comfort to a dying old lady and a doting grandson. Well, it's the least we can do. Bobby, take it up. Oh, no, 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 I'll, I'll take it up, sir. I'm quite sure that both you gentlemen have got a lot of detecting to do. It's up the stairs, through the trap at the top. Nice great, sir. Oh, nice great. Now, listen. What? Shh. What? About this painting. I'm not pinching one of Mr. Lloyd's paintings. You don't have to. Kim does it. Kim? Yeah, she sneaks it out, gives it to you. You won't miss it for one night. Does Kim know about this? Not yet. You're going to chatter into it tonight. Kim! I'm late! I'm taking it to pictures! Wait a minute. Huh? 
You're being briefed. Thank you both very much indeed. Such deep consideration and understanding for the sad plight of another human being can only bring you joys untold. Don't mention it. I, I won't tell a soul. Uh, where's Granny well? <laughs> yes, I will, sir. Thank you both. Your gentleman. Proper gentleman. Now listen. Oh, you've got a chap, Kim, out of the pictures and into the painting. Got it? No. Bobby. Listen, you get the painting, right? Put it in one of your boxes, take it onto the beach, and I'll do the rest. Tommy, Kim always says no. She's never said yes to me yet. I thought you were supposed to be the world's champion chatter. I am. I can chat anything. Yeah, and that's what you usually get, anything. Tommy, I'm the best. Yeah, use your charm. You know, turn on the Paul Newman. Here's looking at you, kid. That's Tally Savalis. Well, whatever. Tommy! Leave it to me. Is it? It's me. I want you as a witness. I haven't seen anything. I haven't shown it to you yet. Get dressed and come on down. Oh. You're not having me on. I don't climb down cliffs in the middle of the night for fun. Have you seen this suspicious box? No, but I've had an underworld tip off. Much to witness, is it? What's that then? Probably washed up by the tide. Can't be. Looks bones right to me. You'll have to give me a lift back with that. We're not going to lug it up that cliff. We certainly are. That box is under arrest. Enter this in the charge book now. Do everything right. What time is it, Fred? Time I went back to bed. All right, but remember, you will need as a material witness, of course. You mean somebody's hijacked some crispies? All right, Fred. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hello? I want the chief constable. Rock on, Tommy. You're back. Where have you been? Hello? Is that the Chief Constable? Well, wake him up. This is important. What do you want the Chief Constable for? To tell him what I found. What have you found? The box you left on the beach. I didn't leave a box on the beach. Exactly. What? No, Kim wouldn't do it. When I told her what he suggested, she said you were mental. So I suggested something. She said I was mental. So we went to pictures. Let's get this straight. You didn't put the box on the beach? No. And there's no paintings? Correct. Then what's that? Looks like two dozen giant crispies. It's the chief constable. What will I tell him? Tell him it's the wrong number. Here, you tell him. Oh, hello. Is that the Little Bottom East Sewage Department works, please? Well, with that language, young man, it should be. What would this be doing on the beach? Somebody been hiding him having a picnic. Sure, Kim didn't change her mind. I never even mentioned the beach. Then these must be the real thing. Yeah, they must be. They are. Fantastic. Rock on, Tommy. I'm going to wake the chief. Don't do that. I have to think this out first. If these are part of the real hall, the rest must be close by. We could get a night up for this. Here we are, cracking an international crime, and you're talking rubbish. Now then, what's the next thing to do? I'll have to lean the other way for that. I'll tell you the next thing to do. What? We've got to go and search the cave. But first, we've got to put the paintings. Where are they? We've been robbed. <coughs> what was that? 
what a noise. It went boom, boom, boom. Whoever it was, he's gone. Whoever it was wouldn't kick up that sort of fuss and then go home. Perhaps whoever it was realised he'd come to the wrong address. Constable Ball, open the door. There's nobody there. Well, if there's nobody there, you won't mind taking a look, will you? Ah, there might be nobody there who thinks there's somebody there, but the nobody that... Open the bloody door. Yes, Sergeant. Maybe we ought to loosen something. You keep your hands off that girl. Go and get the brandy. 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 Now what shall we do? Artificial recreation. Artificial resuscitation. Recreation means playing around. You've got to take your chances when you can. Oh, Tommy. I've seen it. It was terrible. Well, he took it, bitches. Look, I'll hold her up. You put her head between her knees. No, her head, sorry. Oh, thank God you're here. It was awful. What happened? After you dropped me, I went to post a letter. I just got to Crossways when... You were assaulted. I could have handled that. I'll second that. It came from nowhere. Suddenly, the sky was all lit up. Flashing lights. A weird, strange noise. It seemed to fill the road. You see, Tommy, a UFO. Oh, I know. I've never believed in that sort of thing. It's always some nut that sees it. But I saw it, Tommy. It was real. I just ran. Well, whatever it was, we're going to have to do something about it. Like what? Make a report. Oh, God. I thought you said we're going to have to go out and look for it. Look, I'm sorry about the swooning bit. I don't normally do that sort of thing. But then I don't normally have strange encounters. I better drive you home. I'll take her home. You stay here and look for those giant crispies. You're mental. I'm not stopping here on my own. It's haunted. everything. You've both been wonderful. Night, night. Hey, shall I walk you up to the app? Wait a minute. She's had enough excitement for one night. You've got lovely eyes. Come on, lover boy. <laughs> They've got to be somewhere in that room. Paintings just don't disappear on their own. Are you sure you didn't move them? How could I talk to the sewage disposal? There's something very strange going on. <laughs> What's the matter? Look! What the hell's that? It's a flying saucer. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing. Well, how come I can see it then? It's an optical illusion. It's coming straight for us. Don't panic. Switch off the lights, get on the grass verge and let it go by. There is no grass verge. Don't panic. If it's a saucer, it'll go right over us. Yes, and disintegrate us. Lay us into nothing. Tommy, I don't want to be lazy. Don't panic. Listen, what? Silence. You're right. We'd better go and investigate. But wait. Wait. Tommy, will you wait? Be careful, you can't get beamed up to Mars or somewhere. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such things as UFOs. Oh, come on. Well, whatever it was, it's gone. And we'd better go too. Tommy, will you listen to me? Perhaps it's the body snatchers who's taking over the world. Lots of little green men. What they do is, they put these seeds inside you and it turns into one of them. Will you get in and drive? Sorry, Tommy, I'm only trying to help you. Drive! I've had it, Tommy, I've had it up to here. you. I'm 
answer the phone. What if it's them? Who? The Martians. The Martians don't use the phone. Well, they use telepathy. Amazing, that. Makes you think, doesn't it? The phone. The phone. Amazing, that. Hello, speak first. It's your money. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Yes, I will. I'll, I'll get him right away, sir. Psst. It's for you, Superintendent. Superintendent? Yes. Sergeant Cannon here, sir. We've been trying to get through to you for the past hour. Where the hell have you been? Give me that. Don't you ever answer your phone, man? Uh, sorry, sir, but we've been out on a job. No, sir, I can't give you too many facts about it at the moment. That doesn't surprise me at all. Now, let me give you some. A custom and excise boat report a very unusual light in your neighbourhood. And they think it could be a guide light for somebody to bring something ashore. Yes. Now, at the risk of spoiling your very fine record of doing damn all, I suggest you get onto this pretty quick. Uh, we'll check it right away, sir. Yes, sir, you can rely on us, sir. Doctor, Doctor Clown. You need the position, man. We don't want you foot arsing all over the county. Have you got a pencil? I doubt it. Right. From the east end of Drake's seat, bearing north by point east from Shoe Rock, due northeast. Right. Report back through the normal channels. May I go back to bed now? Oh, of course, sir. I'm sorry I had to trouble you. It's like running the bloody Keystone Cops. Now, this could be our big chance, Bobby. Could it? We could solve the whole business. Yeah, we could. If we can find a light and make an arrest, yeah. we might even get promotion. Yeah. Where's the compass? It's here, but it's ten minutes fast. How can a compass be ten minutes fast? The point is stuck at ten past north. Well, we can't work out a position with that. Of course you can, look. You point north to northeast, or northwest, or give you south. I'd hate to be lost with you. Oh, did I startle you, gentlemen? Oh, it's you. Oh, I'm deeply sorry to disturb your labours once again, but there's been an unfortunate development in the sad plight of Alf and his grandmother. Has she, uh, gone? Yes, sir. Gone off with the lodger. I thought she were dying. So did we. So did Alf, sir. Turns out she was pregnant. No. Yes. Yeah, all the time we thought the lodger was upstairs bathing her fevered brow. He was at it. And nobody realised what was going on? No, sir. Never suspected a thing. No, we were only up there for a couple of minutes at a time. Still, I suppose, at the age of 93, that's all you need. Well, I'm very happy for her. Ah, that's all very well. But young Alf's going to take this very hard, you know. Well, he couldn't bear the thought of his beloved old granny deserting him and giving her love to someone else. No, no, I think it's best he doesn't know. Best I'll take the lamp down. Right. Yeah. Let him think his beloved old granny's gone. Well, truth to tell, of course, she's gone to Blackpool. Well, you know where it is, only we're rather busy. Official business, you know. Yeah, it's quite so. So don't let me detain you, ma'am. <coughs> right. Drake seat. Here it is. Take a ruler, draw a line from there, Burring, north, point, east. Draw another line from Shoe Rock. Got it. Due northeast. Mission accomplished. What does it say where the lines intersect? It says police station. That's ridiculous. We haven't got a light on. Well, there you are, gentlemen. Let's hit. Thank you both very much indeed. Uh, you're a credit to the force, both of you. Good night. Why didn't you stop him? It's his light. I know. You could have arrested him. And let HQ know that the light was on top of our station. We'll have to think this out very carefully. I could always move the line down a bit and put the light on top of the pole. A Chelsea plane here today? No. Have you paid the window cleaner? Yeah. It must be a friendly brick. What's this? Don't know. It's a message, is it? It says, stay out of this or else. I don't know anybody called else. Bobby. What? We're being threatened. Someone wants us to back off. Well, they didn't have to throw a brick. I were giving up anyway. We can't give up now. We're getting close. We've got them worried. And remember, if we don't solve this case, they'll merge us. You're right, Tom. I must be brave. Let's see. We've got the paintings. We've got the light on the roof. We've got the mysterious ceiling. We've got the flying saucer. I wonder how all that fits in. I'm not bothered, Tommy. Frightens the life out of me. That's it. 
They're using the source of lights to scur people away while they move the stuff around. You mean the old story about the headless horseman? My God, you've got it again. Well, when you've got it, you've got it. What have I got? They're following the legend of the headless horseman. All we need now is the rhyme, and I'll bet that's got the old racket summed up. All we need now is the rhyme, and I'll bet that's got the old racket that's summed it. up. How's it go? How's it go? The headless horseman, when the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove, and the headless horseman is seen here both, that's the rhyme with Never Corbis. mind that, will you get on with it? As he rides along with a wild hello, yeah, yeah. Lickety split, a lickety split. Lickety split, lickety split. What's that supposed to mean? I've forgotten the last line, Tommy. You've forgotten the last line? The one line that could solve this whole business, and you've forgotten it. The one line that could put us on the map, save our jobs, safeguard our future, and this idiot's gonna have forgotten it. You're useless. Sorry, Tommy. It's no use being sorry, is it? You're just plain useless. Tom, I know for years you've pretended to be my friend. But deep down, you really hate me, don't you? I don't want to hate you. I just think you're useless. I mean, what you say to me? I mean, tell me. Well, what? None at all, I'll tell you. Are you a policeman? Eh? Do you call yourself a policeman? Eh? Well, I don't speak to me, Bobby. Half the time you spend chasing the birds. The other half the time you spend in that flipping store messing about. Are you a policeman or a shopkeeper? Well, I you... I'll tell you what you are. You're just plain useless. Tom. I know. I've let you down, and I know I've made mistakes, but I just want to say this to you, Tom. If you talk to me again like that, I'm going to kill you. Come on. Whoa. Come on. All right, all right, Come all on. Right. Calm down. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. This isn't getting us anywhere, is it? No. Friends. Friends. Now then, so you can't remember the last line. It's gone. It's just gone. We're going to have to give you a little stimulation. Oh, stimulate me. Okay, where did you learn the rhyme? My dad used to sing it to me when I was in bed. Right, once again, we're going to take you back in time. You're now a little boy, and I'm your father. Are you feeling all right? Do you want to valley him? Get in bed. Sorry, Dad. Now then, Bobby lad. What? Here comes your dad. And he's going to sing for you your favourite little rhyme. Are you ready? Yes, Dad. Here we go, then. When the tide runs low in the smuggler's cove... <laughs> And the headless horseman rode above. Both, both. As he rides along with a wild hello. Now, what comes next, Bobby lad? Be a good little boy. Try to remember. Tell Daddy what comes next. It's not the same, you see. Because when my dad used to do it, he used to do a little dance as well. Never mind that. What's the last line? The smugglers used to go out in the little boats, collect the kegs of rum and brandy, fetch him back and hide him in the devil's cave below. What's that? It's the last line. It doesn't rhyme. Of course it does. As he rides along with a wild hello, that's when the smugglers go out in the little boats, collect the kegs of rum and brandy, fetch him back and hide them in the devil's cave below. Devil's cave? That's where I found the painting. Bobby, you're brilliant. Did you ever doubt it? Yes, but they're not smuggling things in. They're taking them out. Yeah. Perhaps to some other country like Switzerland, and they're using our light to signal the offshore boat, hey, and the flying saucer is keeping people away. Is that the plot? That's the plot. Good. I was getting a bit confused. Come on. It's all gone, this job, isn't it? to smuggle them out. Come on. Oh, look at this. A million pounds. <laughs> Let me touch it. It must be lighthouse, huh? 
That's no lighthouse. That's a customs and excise boat. We found it first. Let's look in the cave. Good idea. Are you sure they're policemen? Well, they're wearing police uniforms. What's all that stuff on the beach? Wait a minute. That building on the skyline, that's a police station, isn't it? That must be where the light was. Johnson! Ship to shore dormant, sir, right away. I want the chief constable. Lower the boat. Listen, we'd better get out of here. The tide's coming up. I can't swim. It only comes up to here. I'm not much further up myself, am I? Look, the landing stage. Oh, yeah. A cigarette in. And it's still burning. It smells Turkish. It is. Don't smoke it, you fool. Could be a clue. Put it in your pocket. Right. This means we must be getting near. Yeah. I'm ready for them, Tommy. Look. Some steps. Yeah. Dump, dump. Shh. What? Spooky, isn't it? Shh, keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this can't be the proceeds of one robbery. It must be the clearing house. Now, here's a funny thing to steal. Desiccated coconut. Same brand as ours. They've raided our cellar. We're in our cellar. Well, what a nerve, that. Storing their stuff in our cellar. Well, didn't you know about that door? No. It's been covered with pickles and gherkins for years. We'll have to wait the chief constable again. You're right. Why should he be the only one to sleep? Chief Constable, this is urgent. Yeah. Right, then, let's recap the evidence. Yeah. Found the stuff on the beach. Yeah, we did. More in the cellar. Yeah. Light on the roof. We'd better not mention that. Don't mention yeah. it. Turkish fag end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This shouldn't be hard to dress. No. Hey, it's Mr. Lloyd. Oh, good evening, Mr. Lloyd. Didn't hear you come in. Oh, look. It's more the same run as our clue. Put the phone down, there's a good lad. Oh, you want to use the phone? Won't be a minute. Just phone in the chief constable. Be a nice boy, put it down. Mr Lloyd, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but listen, there's somebody in this village smuggling out millions and millions of pounds worth of valuable paintings. This might come as a bit of a shock to you, but it's me. Tommy, he's got a gun. What are we going to do? Try the Paul Newman look. <laughs> now, you're not going to do anything silly, are you, lads? No. Because we've always been friends, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. And we don't want to get hurt, do we? No. So I'm going to lock you in that cell, right? Right. Yeah. And you're going to go nice and quiet, yeah. right? Yeah. Good. We've blown it. There's a customs boat coming in. Well, move what you can into the ambulance and leave the rest. Take the loader to Five Oaks. No! Right! I've got one! I've got one! Me too! Hey, that's the girl! Oh, no, you don't! All right, move! You two, into the cell! Quick! I take it you won't be wanting us next Wednesday, then? You won't get away with this! There'll be no books visiting Holloway! That's the woman's prison, stupid! Oh, he won't need it, then. Come on, where's the key? He's got it. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to be chained to you for life. We're friends, aren't we? How do we get out of here? Through the door. But he's locked it. That's not been working for years. Come on. We'll have to call headquarters on the cab radio. Huh, that might be difficult. Where's the handset? I borrowed it. You borrowed it? I've made him to come for the store. We'll have to stop and use a phone box. Get in! That's wrong, isn't it? Get out of it.
This looks like part of the jackpot. Get a signal to the police. Will do. Chapters by about ten minutes, sir, but they can't have gone far. You know, Detective Inspector Hilling, our squad. On the Hatton Garden job. They left some of the stuff. There's a tunnel down there, leads to the beach. Are you trying to tell me that this police station is involved in all this? Well, some of the stuff was found in their cellar. And that light was almost certainly on the building. Could be that they're not such clowns as we thought. Put out an all car alert. All cars, all cars. Attention call to police panda car, Austin Metro. Index unknown, containing two police officers suspected involved in theft. Last seen, Little Botham area. Ends origin 0124. Slow down, turn your lights out. We're nearly there. I said slow down, not stop. There they are. Well, there's your flying saucer. It's an ambulance with a flashing light bar on. I'm going to have them for that, Tommy. Wait a minute. There's five of them. Good job, I've got a headache. Right. Shove the ambulance in the quarry and hurl up in London. I'll phone you from Dover. How do we know this? Just do as I say. Right. Move over, I'll drive. Get out at the next town and keep the lights off. Driving without lights is an offense. Drive. Shut up. Inside. Now what? Road to petrol. How can we be out to petrol at a time like this? Don't worry, I've got a spare tin in the boot. Well, let's get it quick. And if you're going to use police petrol for your snogging dates, kindly switch the engine off now and then. I never snog on police property. Never mind, I just opened this thing up. We need the keys. Where are they? In the ignition. Well, what's the good of them in there? Because you didn't give me time. And see what's on our car radio. Right. You didn't borrow the wiring too, did you? Do you think I'd do something Doesn't like that? Doesn't matter what I think, does it? Just open this boot. Because if I thought that you... Bobby, we're chasing villains, will you get the petrol? If I thought... Get the petrol. Because I'm telling you, Mama, I... just get it. All cars, reference my 0124, index number of Panda, OJW582X, Oscar Juliet Whiskey 582X X-ray, ends origin 0145. Repetition. Index number of Panda, Oscar Juliet Whiskey 582X X-ray. With any luck, we'll get them too. Did you get that number? Yeah, it comes with the car. What comes with the car? It's our number. Well, why would they want us? Maybe they found out about Alf's granny. Well, that's the end of this car. We'll have to shove it off the road and commandeer a lift. There's somebody coming. We'll stop him. Uh, uh, may I inquire where you're taking that pig? To see the Muppet movie. He's mad about Miss Piggy. Look, where do you think I'm taking him? I'm asking the question. To the market. Tomorrow, he'll be somebody's breakfast. Have you got a license for that pig? What for? He's not driving. Don't get me annoyed, boy. Tommy, he's got no pig in pig license. That pig's under arrest. Yes, and we need the motorbike for evidence now. Come on, off you get. Off you get. What's the charge? Hey. 
We can't reveal that at the moment, but that pig will be charged down at the station. Oh, I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Uh, just be careful, because anything you say may be taken down, mucked about and used in evidence against you. Look, I'll take the bike, you get in the sidecar. Right. Uh, what, with the pig? I know it'll get used to it. Here, how come you two handcuffed together? Because we love one another. Mm -hmm. Driver, sir. No, we haven't got time for that. Overtake. That was a near one. I think we'd better keep all the main roads. Yeah, you're right. There'll be a lot of police activity by now. What's this thing allowed to do? Force it. Better keep down to it. They must be still on this road. There's no turn off for a couple of miles. Tom? What? Can you slow down? Slow down, we're chasing villains. You're scurrying the big rubbish. The pig's not scared. You want to be kneeling, we're out kneeling. No, shut up, Martin. Tell me, I think we should let him off. What sort of a policeman are you? You've been in it before, haven't you? Come on, come on. Turn around, Tommy, turn around. Go on, come on. Get out, you stupid thing. Go on, Tommy. Now, get out. Go on, punch off your pig. Go on. You've just saved your bait! Come on, stupid! I bet we've lost the scent now! I haven't! and I'll tell. Hang on. You lost him! Oh, turn around! He never even put his flipping hand out. Come on, pull your foot down. I'm trying to best now. sleeping on duty. I'm only sleeping because you were snoring. Well, come on. Let's walk. That'll probably wake me up. Sick of this. That's it. The law! Keep working. Get in. We can't keep running about like Tommy's twins. Why don't we take a bus? Have you got the fare? No. Do you want to get us arrested? I'm 
wish I never had any gays to have. You should know, you've crushed through most of them and over a hidden camp them. Double decker bus, index number 373 WPU, whiskey papa uniform, stolen from county bus depot by two men wearing police uniform. May be identical with my 0124. Last seen in Lemwood area, heading south. How far is Lemwood? About 12 miles west, sir. Get there, fast. Reported at Lark Hill, travelling south. Ends origin 0805. Repetition 0805. Stolen bus reported Lark Hill, travelling south. Where's Lark Hill? Behind us, sir. We'll turn back. Yes, sir. Cuffs on them. They've already got cuffs on, sir. 
proper slip from Moron. It's not us you want, it's him. I suppose your boys couldn't give me a hand to pull these apart. <laughs> I think mine can still murder. Certainly you. I'm, uh, mm, I'm sorry about all this. Don't let him go. He's got a boatload of stolen painting. <laughs> I think they've been on the old butt's whiz again. They like a little tipple, you know. You little liar. It's him that drinks it, you little liar. And he's abducting this young lady. <laughs> Look in the boat. Look in the boat. Go on. Go on. You two shut up. Tom, not another word. Oh. All right, look at this. Picasso. You trillo. Coro. And he's got a gun. Well, no, I can't think of anything at the moment, but uh, I've got a good lawyer. I'm sure he'll think of something. No, not her. She's innocent, you stupid person. That's sweet of you, Bobby. Don't think it'll help much now, though. I'll always be glad to see you on visiting days. She's one of them. Of course she is. I knew that all the time. That's why I've been playing hard to get. As for you two, you may have turned Queen's evidence, but you'll still be charged. What with? What with? The light was on top of your flagpole, and the stolen paintings were in your cellar. That's because of Al's grandmother who ran off with the lodger. She's 92 and pregnant. You don't think they're going to plead insanity, do you? They had nothing to do with it. They're clean. Well, we couldn't have done it without them. They're not very bright. That, I believe. I can't arrest you, I'm afraid, but I'm suspending you. Suspending us? You can't do that. We've just solved the crime of the century. You have also displayed a degree of incompetence and bungling that I would not have believed possible. You are useless. Useless? I take it you won't be giving us a lift home, then. That is the first right thing you said today. All right, all right. All right what? Nothing, I'm just saying all right. Never mind. Me arm, you're breaking me arm. Sorry, mate. Can't get over, Kim. Having us on all the time. You just can't trust women, can you, Tom? I'm through with them. Yeah. Rock on, Tommy, so am I. Hey, did you see that big blonde with the bulging pockets? She got lovely eyes. <laughs> Yeah. 